Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It is I, Epic Man 101, back again. This time, we're playing a new game. Um, kind of figured out, new game, new game to start off, kind of a reboot of my channel. Uh, what happened with my channel was my laptop broke, and they couldn't fix it, so I had to get a new one. And it's a bit of a story, and I'll probably save that story for another time. But, I didn't find this game on my own, one of my friends recommended it to it, me, and so I said, you know what, I'll give it a go. Um, I've dabbled in it a little bit in single player, just trying to get a feel for the controls. Uh, not too much, though. And, so yeah, let's let's just uh, start. Just got a story. I don't have the R&D pack. So, story it is. No, that kind of, that, that kind of looks like a nuclear bomb, just saying, like, I know it's, I know it was a transport container thing, but that really looked like a bomb, I'm just gonna say it, and since it looked like a bomb, I'm not surprised it blew up. Things that look like bombs have the really bad tendency of blowing up. I mean, it's, it's kind of true. Like, it looks like a bomb. Like, in movies or in video games. Tendency is... The, the tendency is, if it looks like a bomb, it's probably going to explode. Okay, so... Give us a nice, nice few amount of pieces. Just kind of get started, which is nice. Um... So, yeah, I have, I have a little car. Ooh, machine gun. That I like. And the drill. Sweet. Okay, so. Tap B to release. WASD, the classic controls. Space to fire gun. Oh, this is, this is nice. Oh, hey, look, it's Tony. Oh, he sees me. Let's use that drill of ours. And we appear to be stuck. Well... Uh, this isn't so bad. He's not shooting me. Uh, um, hmm. uh, there we go. I want his gun. His gun looks nice. Never mind. Um, I stand corrected. <laughs> no longer getting his gun. Okay, sweet. Uh, let's let's put that on the back. Actually, no, wait, let's, let's, let's do this. Let's put this here, put this here. We got some extra wheels. We are adding on to our crap. This is, this is nice. Uh, where to go from here? Desert. Uh, let's, let's stay in the plains area. Let's stay in the plains area. Ooh, but there's an enemy. Oh, get away from me. Okay. Um. We almost got him. This thing is very inaccurate. So I'm gonna see if I can just use the drill. Get back here. Yeah, we got. Him. Okay, sweet. Uh, unfortunately, he doesn't. Ooh, light. I'll take it. That's really the only thing I want from him. Nothing else that I really need. Got a little objective marker. Let's go uh, see how this is going. Okay, also, another thing I should mention. I'm going to try to keep these videos to 15 minutes at the tops, give or take. Uh, just because I don't want to like, be putting out like, half hour videos just for... Like, no. I mean, just something something short, something quick that you guys can watch. I'll make, I'll make a series out of this. Hopefully it'll let me... Uh, couple subscribers. Ooh. Solar panels. Yes. Unfortunately, in what I have played, I don't think there is anything that allows you to um, make a, a mobile power generator, like solar-wise. There's the, there's later you get a, um, a thing that will burn resources for you. 
but it's not exactly solar powered. It's resource powered. Uh, which is alright. I mean, I, I can kind of understand why they wouldn't have the mobile solar power because that would be very overpowered, if that makes sense. Because it's like you could power up your vehicle no problem wherever you went and you'd never have to worry about losing power. Did we get them? Yes, we did. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to add a little addition on top for this cannon. Actually, since this one rotates, we'll put it up top. And then... Ooh, that's nice. We'll uh, kind of heal it up because I know some of these parts got damaged. Okay, let's see where to go from here. Uh, I know we just gotta keep keep getting getting enemies, killing them, getting parts. Kind of like um Aragio or A R G dot I O. I don't know the correct pronunciation of things, but uh, it's kind of like that where you just kind of keep building onto your vehicle. Ooh, there it is. That I will take. So yeah, it's, uh, I guess it's really interesting because it forces you to start out small. Like you can't just start out with like some massive creation and then have it be super overpowered. You, just, you really have to work up to that. And I guess I guess another advantage of it forcing you to start out small is um, it shows you the importance. It, it kind of makes you a small, nimble craft, which would um, which is good because it kind of forces you to see that uh, size doesn't always size isn't what makes a vehicle great it's its ability to do whatever its job is so sometimes having a big massive tank won't work because your guns or your cannons and your firepower stuff won't be able to hit the enemy uh, let's go towards this guy in the I guess he'd be kind of southeast southeast corner there's a little north button in the radar uh, let's see how how much oh he's just never mind I was gonna debate whether or not to go after him because of whether he see, saw us or not but he definitely did see us I'm just gonna grab this never mind uh, really kind of blew up in my face you could say uh, that was a terrible one Looking at this vehicle with his cabin up here, that kind of makes me think I need to change the location of mine. So we're just going to grab parts. Now we are... What part is this? That's another radar this. Don't think we need another radar this. Well, I'll take some wheels and... Yeah, let's go back to our little bubble and we'll stoop things up a little. Ooh, and what? Because why not? It's good to see in the dark. I know there is a night cycle. I have played enough to know that there's a night cycle and it can get very hard to see. What's that? That's another block. I will take that. Okay. Let's uh, soup things up a bit. If we hit B, we can get back to here. So, yeah. I'm just going to completely redesign it with all the new parts. Put a battery here. Let's put a battery here. Go. So we're gonna put this kind of in the middle, towards the back. Uh, let's put this here. Put this here. Put this here. Um, let's put you down there. Drill in the front. I think something I really like about this is that you can just create so many creations. Like there's. I mean, there's like a way it kind of starts you out with the the kind of way you need to make it, or else it's not gonna work because you're like you're limited on parts. But then the once you get the ability to just buy parts and make parts and such, then you can just really go wherever you want, and that's something I like about this game, at least so far. Uh, at least I think you can go wherever you want. Like I said, I I've only played a little. Um, yeah, this looks good. Uh, let's get rid of these parts. If we need more, we can just blow up an enemy for it. Actually, oh wait, I forgot the light. 
Do we have a good spot for this? Yes, right on the front. Let's go. Uh, let's see. Oh, we have two enemies. Uh, can can we find out who they are? Oh, it's Tony again. Oh, and he has a friend. Well, it looks like we can just get him from here. Although we are... Oh, we did take out that rock. Okay, well, we got one. One down, one to go. And let's get in close. Oh. There we go. There's just another radar module, which we don't need. Um... I don't want to do this, but I'm going to do it anyways, just because I don't, I like symmetry. I like having my vehicles in a symmetrical way. This is not symmetry. This is slightly off of symmetry, which I'm not overly happy about. I'd rather be equal on both sides, but we only have one brick, but we did get the new wheel, new wheels, the better wheels. They're well, I mean, they're bigger wheels, so I would only assume. And we got another gun. Uh, let's have it pointing towards the back. Yeah, this looks good. i going to run back to base real quick just to... Because I think that one piece needs to be fixed up. Yeah, it's blinking red. Ooh, this is fun. Just kind of back in here. Okay, okay, let's go. Yeah, so so far this game actually looks really good too like as kind of an like an artistical viewing of it it's just it's it's original in a sense where it doesn't look like it tried to copy anybody else's game it's like everything looks fairly original Ooh, they have a base uh, let's see how shall we go about doing this well, there's, according to our radar, four of them. Eh, that's our first video. Let's just go for it. And that's one down. Turn to our left. Oh, one of them sees us. We're just gonna go in close. Ramming speed. I think he's down. Yes, he is. Ooh, that's a lot of good valuable parts. We are stuck. But we're not being attacked, so we're just going to take this opportunity to uh, spice things up a little. Let's, um, let's add this here. So, yeah, I'm really going against what I want to do. But alas. More firepower for me. And then let's kind of just sneak over here. Grab this part. Grab this part. And uh, get out of here. He is still shooting us. Is he still shooting us? No, he's not. Give me down enough time to put this up here. Although this part is hurt, it allows me to get two extra guns. Which is always well received. Um, as long as that cab of ours doesn't die, it's completely surrounded. So I think we should be good. We should have no problem dealing with this guy. And we got him. Sweet. So now this base is ours, but what to do with it? That be the question that plagues us for centuries. Well, I don't think I need two of these, but I'll take it anyways and I'll take take the solar panel and I'm just gonna head on uh, what to do though because if you look at the radar there's an objective marker so home is this way and objective is this way <sighs> well let's just go for the objective let's make things interesting got a few minutes left so at least a few minutes left of the first episode but hey I mean we took our first base which was good um you know, we are a bit sluggish 
And it looks like we're going to be going into a new terrain. And what do we have here? It would appear we have... Well, with the new terrain will come new resources. Oh, oh, this is the, the trading station. Oh, this will be nice. Okay, just... Oh, sweet, level two. Um, okay, sweet. I'm just going to drop this here. I'm going to put this in here, and I'm just going to make sure I'm all healed up. It would appear that I am. So, yeah, let's get this base. Let's get this base before the video ends. Um, we are picking this guy apart. Oh, well, he's gone. Sweet. Okay, so. We have reached level 2. We have found a trading station. Which will be good. Uh, lots of new parts. And the sun is going down. Since the sun is going down, I think this is a good place to call it quits. That will be episode 1 of my Terra Tech series. If you're still watching to this point in the video, I want to say thank you. I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day, and I will see you next time.